Hello you all, I am Black Witch Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And today we are going to dive a little bit deeper than the rest of my videos besides the story of the Orisha. Today we are going to talk about ancestors. But before we get started, you guys know we have to do the crystal of the day. And today I like to call this one the witch's tooth, but it's a clear quartz. And you guys know the clear quartz is the most versatile crystal in the bunch. The clear quartz has a wide range of benefits from replacing negative energy with positive, detoxifying the individual it is called to, and balancing the mind, body, and soul. This translucent crystal is associated with the crown chakra and raises your consciousness and amplifies the energy of other crystals around it and you guys can get the witch's tooth from blackwitchyaya.com so as of lately ancestors have been a hot topic y'all know my favorite line in beyonce's black parade ancestors on the wall at the ghost chit chat i love y'all that's my favorite verse but a lot of people are like okay i want my ancestors on the wall i want the ghost to chit chat so i really want to dive deep into this because i know like for me when i first discovered like okay so what are ancestors again i was kind of like who what when where why which one what do we do so here we go so a basic definition of ancestors are basically a group of people who have come before us who are no longer with us. So when someone passes away, they are no longer here with us in flesh form, but they are still here with us spiritually and their energy and their impact becomes even stronger because they become a guardian over us, guiding us every single day and still having an impact on our everyday lives and actions in our future. That's why many people pay love and respect to their ancestors because they are still working hard even though they are not with us physically. One of the many reasons it is important to honor your ancestors is because it is paying homage to the ones that come before us, of course, and it's a good way to get back into your roots and into your heritage, learning more about your family, learning more about where you come from, the struggles or the joys that your ancestors went through because history repeats itself. So you will see that a lot of things that your ancestors went through, you will face as well, or you pick up different traits, or you may look like your great, 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 great grandmother, or you may speak like your great, 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 great auntie. So everything is kind of a ripple effect. So honoring our ancestors will help us discover our higher purpose. And keep in mind, not to scare y'all, but we are ancestors in the making. So honoring them will just make us more powerful and impactful for the ones that's coming after us. We would not exist if it was not for our ancestors. So that connection that we have, I call them the OG, maybe like the very first person in our bloodline. That connection from them all the way to us in present form is a very strong connected chain. And if one link of that chain breaks, the connection is lost. So it's important no matter what you do to try to keep that connection going. Even if you do not have an altar, even if you don't know what you're doing, even if you don't know who you're speaking to, you can just simply say, ancestors, I thank you for watching over me and guiding me every single day. And as you continue to learn, you could do different things. Like for example, many people honor their ancestors. That's a direct connection to them, maybe like their grandparents, even though it goes further and further before that. But maybe you know that your grandpa loved banana pudding, he loved cigars, and he loved bonanza. So maybe you'll have a bonanza show pamphlet next to some banana pudding, a cigar, and a candle with his photo giving honor to him, still feeding that energy so he could continue to work in God over you out of pure love. Also, you guys, I do want to give, I guess, this warning or disclaimer. In everything in life, there's good and there's bad. So not every ancestor is a good ancestor because not every person in the world is or was a good person. Like, I'm sure we could think of a relative right now. We like, you're not getting no altar from me. Don't even come at me. Don't ask me for nothing. Don't show up in no dream. Uh-uh. So of course there are some ancestors that may not have your best interest, nothing against you. That's just the life they live when they were in flesh form. So it's kind of hard for many people to fathom like, okay, so this person passed away. So how are they still with me when they're gone? Just think about it like this. Energy cannot be created and it cannot be destroyed. So with all the energy that we have within us, death is not going to stop it that energy and that spirit is still there even though the body is going the soul and the energy is still there so of course that connection is still going to be there with the people that it he or she was connected to when they were in human form so once you begin learning about your ancestors who's who what did they like or what are they trying to show you 
you will gradually start to be like, okay, so that's why this happened. That's why that happened. That's why I get chills when I walk in this area of the house. You're going to start connecting the dots as you learn about it. So just as your ancestors may be trying to communicate with you without you knowing it, you may be honoring them without you knowing it as well. Many people find it weird that someone speaks to the dead or they honor their ancestors, maybe wear a charm that they had. If you go to your uncle's grave site for example and you lay flowers down and you speak with him you update him you say thank you this is and that that's honoring your ancestors if you wear a bracelet that your great great grandmother passed down that's honoring your ancestors if you sit in your grandpop's favorite recliner and just try to feel that connection and try to feel his presence that's honoring your ancestors so along with that connection that you have with your ancestors just how some are good just how some are bad i hope most of them are good you have to understand within that cycle, that's for generational wealth, generational prosperity, generational happiness, and generational curses come along with it. So some things that your ancestors did or ancestors had on them, you may not want them on you. So you really want to make sure that you focus on yourself spiritually, try to connect different things that may be happening to you that happened to your ancestors as well. Different traits that may be good or maybe bad. You might want to drop the bad one. Like, gee, I got anger issues. My great great auntie had anger issues too. Or, gee, I'm having fertility issues. My grandmother had fertility issues too. So just simple things like that. Or maybe someone put a hex on your family and it's generational. You really want, this is, I hope it's not scaring y'all. Y'all know I like to pull out the bright background when I'm talking about deep stuff. But you never know what may be within that cycle. So that's why it's just important to focus on yourself spiritually. Grow yourself spiritually so you can start noticing things within yourself that you want to change and correct. For the generations after you and just for you to live a peaceful life now. So for many people you may not know like okay which ancestor is trying to connect with me. Which one should I really try to build a stronger bond with? So you guys know that my boyfriend does do tarot card readings and he does ancestors readings where like just sitting in the room sometimes while he's doing it, just seeing him speak as other people say certain things and just hearing like the shock factor or oh my God, I do have that coat in my closet or oh my gosh, you're talking about my uncle so-and-so, he was in the army. Oh my gosh, my uncle used to always ca call me this and call me this nickname or whatever. So it's very, very strong. It's very, very <laughs> precise and it's very emotional to be quite honest. So if you do want to book an ancestor reading, I would say just make sure that you are mentally prepared for it because you never know who's going to show up and how that might impact you or might be a sensitive point. For myself, for example, y'all know I don't get personal up here. Most of y'all don't even know my real name. But I do want an, oh God, I do want an ancestor reading because my big brother did pass away a few years ago and I have not been mentally ready to sit down for that reading yet just because it is a fresh wound. So yes, my big brother did pass away a few years ago. So I have not been ready to sit down for an ancestor reading just because it is like a very fresh wound still. And like a piece of me still wants to believe that he is alive, that he's still in Miami right now as we speak. So I know for me to sit down and hear messages and all that stuff, I just would not be ready for it. Like even now it's hard talking about it. So. And maybe other people like that as well. Someone may have just passed away or someone very close to you may have passed away years ago. And you may not be mentally ready, but I say if you are and if you really want to start honoring your ancestors and know exactly who you're communicating with and who is trying to be, who were, ooh, see, mm, and who has been trying to communicate with you, I suggest you book an ancestor reading and I hope that helps you out a lot. Update me if you do and I hope and wish you the best on your journey. I'm going to end the video right here because I should never brought that up. Okay. So yeah, so if you feel that you are ready to sit down for that reading, I suggest you book an ancestor reading. I do want to warn you now that my boyfriend is booked until I believe mid-November now. So you're going to be waiting for a while. So even if you just want to book it to claim your spot and just mentally prepare yourself in the between time, I wish you all the best of luck. You are very, very strong because I know right now, or I don't know when, I will not be able to do that because I do want to sit down 
for a reading like that for my brother because I see ways he's trying to communicate with me but I'm just still in denial like no you're still alive what are you doing but I hope this video helped you all out a lot when it comes to ancestors and just the direction to go and the purpose of honoring them thank you all so much for tuning into this video as I always say as above so below as within so without as the universe so the soul until next time you guys I shave baby